A beast? What kind of beast? The ugliest beast you could imagine! Even worse than the Kalidas! Uh, don't worry, folks. If the wizard is a beast, when I go to see him, I shall roar my loudest. He'll be so frightened that he'll grant us all our wishes. But if he's the lovely lady, I shall spring upon her and so compel her to obey me. What if he's the great hairless head? Piece of cake! He'll be at my mercy, for I will roll his great head all about the room until he promises to give us what we desire. So be a good cheer, my friends, for all will yet be well. Your turn, lion. Oh, uh, you sure that bow is for me? No, maybe he wishes to see the Tin Man again, or, or the Scarecrow. No, maybe, maybe it wasn't a bell at all. I mean, sometimes people think that they hear a bell and it's only a ringing in their ears. You mustn't kick the wizard right in. We'll be right here, Lion. <laughs> Gosh, it's hot in here. Oh, no. Up on the throne, the wizard has caught fire. No, no. Wait a second. There's, there's nothing but fire. A huge ball of fire. Still, as long as I ke ke keep m m my distance. I am Oz, the great and terrible. Who are you? And why do you seek me? I am the cowardly lion, afraid of everything. I come to beg you to give me courage so that I will no longer run from danger and hide and shiver and burst into tears and generally disgrace. My name is the King of Beasts. Why should I give you courage? Uh, because of all wizards, you are the goodest, the mostest, the best. Bring me proof that the wicked witch is dead and I will give you courage. But as long as the witch lives, you must remain a coward. And now look here. Have you anything else to say? Uh, no. Your Honor, I, I mean, you wish it ship or if you 